Hello, and this is Sunny. Welcome back. Data is one of the most valuable assets a business has, and data loss is what any business try to avoid. Threats to data, however, are on the rise due to many types of incidents, such as hacking, malware attacks, natural disasters, hardware failures, human errors, etc. Thus, data back is one of the most crucial strategies to a successful business. Today, I will talk about one of the most used backup methods: the three-to-one backup rule. The three-to-one backup rule is a reliable and a time-honored strategy. With this rule, data is protected. And backup data is available when needed. The concept is simple. Three means at least three copies of data are created. These three copies can include one primary production data and two backup copies. Two means that copies are stored on two different types of storage media. Storage media types could include. Discs, rotational magnetic tapes, NS or SAN,、uh, etc. One means that one copy of data is stored on an off-site, which can be physical remote site or a cloud service. Many companies has remote physical facilities, while many others use outside voting services such as Iron Mountain. A chain is a cloud storage service. The three-to-one backup rule prevents a single point of failure and ensures the high availability of business data. The three-to-one backup rule is an industry best practice. There are some variations of a three-to-one backup rule. And the three-to-two backup rule is one example. With this backup rule, business continuity is achieved through three data copies, two media types, and two storage locations. Compared with the three-to-one backup rule, the three-to-two backup rule provides a mix of local and cloud-based protection. One is a physical remote site. And the other is cloud service. Don't want to put all your eggs in one basket. I hope this video is helpful. Thank you very much, and see you next time.